Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to show you how to create a screenshot using Windows 10. A screenshot is an image of what is currently displaying on your screen. Today I'm going to show you three different ways to create that image based off of your entire screen. And then you can decide which way is best for you. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's say I have this displaying on my screen here. And I want to send an image of this to somebody else. Now a reason you might want to do this is because you don't want anyone to actually be able to edit what you're seeing on your screen. So rather than sending them this Excel spreadsheet, I'm just going to send them an image of it. The first way I'm going to do it is using the print screen button on my keyboard. That's located right here. Uh, on most keyboards. It might be in a slightly different spot for you, but look for it. It says PRTSCN or PRTSC, and that means print screen. So I'm going to show you what that does on my screen when I click that. So when I click it, I just clicked it. Nothing seemed to happen. So now what you have to do is you have to take it from your clipboard because when you hit print screen what it did was it copied it to your clipboard and you have to paste it onto somewhere. A good program to paste it onto is Microsoft Word. So I open up Microsoft Word to a blank document and then if I do a control V you can see that image is now displayed on there. Now you can see the right side of my screen is an image of what I was seeing here, but if you were just looking at the left side or if you only had one screen on your monitor, you would see just this left side here. All right, so uh, that's how you do it using the print screen button. Now there is one other way to use the print screen button to, uh, to create a screenshot. Now keep in mind if I wanted to save this particular screenshot and send it to somebody, I could. I'm going to choose not to. Now sometimes you don't want to take your screenshot and paste it into another program. Let's say that person didn't have Microsoft Word and you just wanted an image of it. Well this time what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the Windows key which is right there and then we'll press the print screen button. And so let's go ahead and see what happens when we do that. I hold down the Windows key and I press print screen. Windows key, print screen. Okay, the screen went dark for just a second. Not completely dark, but it got grayed out. And so something happened when we held down the Windows key, then pressed print screen. What happened was it actually saved an image into our pictures folder in our file explorer. So down here you can click on your file explorer, which is the folder icon. And if you go to the pictures uh, folder on the left side in the navigation pane, you should see a folder inside that pictures folder called screenshots. And if you click that, or double click it rather, it'll open up the screenshot in a PNG file. The PNG file displays your image right there. I closed my screen on the right side, so you can see I have two monitors here, but if you only have one, you will see your image right there. That way you can send the image directly to somebody, so that way you don't have to put it into any third-party program. It just saves directly as a PNG file. So again, you hold down the Windows key, and then you press the print screen button for that one. The last way that I'm going to show you is using the snipping tool. So if you hit the Windows key on your keyboard and you start to type snip, you should see a button appear for an app called snipping tool. You could go ahead and click that, and when you click the snipping tool, you can click this little arrow right next to the word new and you can choose full screen snip. And what that'll do is it'll take a full screen snip or a full screen image of your computer, whatever is displaying. So I go right there, full screen snip. It takes the snip and now you can see uh, the snip is now displaying. So you can see right here, the snipping tool is open and I'm displaying the full screen snip of whatever I had showing. Now I can go here and I could save my snip and then I could save it to anywhere I want on my computer so that I could then send it to somebody. The snipping tool is great because you don't have to snip the entire screen. You can choose a specific spot to snip. Now keep in mind I snipped this part right here which was my file explorer but I really should have been snipping this right here. So I would go to the snipping tool from right here, click snip, and then I could go to full screen snip to actually get the full screen snip of what I wanted to see here. And then I can save it right there, so on and so forth. So that's how you use the snipping tool to do a full screen snip. I hope that this tutorial has taught you how to actually uh, use the screenshot mechanisms that Windows 10 offers, and I hope it has helped you out. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a very nice day.